Though 90 Day Fiancé has become known for its relationship drama, a number of romances in the extended franchise have come across as authentic. Viewers are excited to get to know two new couples on the new season of 90 Day Fiancé. The other way, as fans are eager for fresh content and authentic romances. Franchise fans have recently voiced that the newer content, including 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 6, has become too focused on repetitive drama as some stars try to launch influencer careers. Likewise, cast members such as the Pottist family have been accused of scripting their family drama for views and a potential spin-off show. Audiences tend to favor the couples who have aired genuine relationship stories. Unfortunately, romance has been pushed to the background for many couples, as drama instead guides plot lines. Fortunately, there have been a number of 90 Day Fiancé couples who stood out over the years. In some instances, viewers were initially skeptical of couples but eventually grew to accept them and believe in their romance. In other instances, one half of the couple has been more favorably viewed than the other. Other couples have been beloved from the start and retained their title of being well-liked through their time on the franchise. Discover which 90 Day Fiancé franchise couples fans have praised over the years and which romances viewers truly believe in. Matt Ryan and Ala Fedorik. Matt Ryan and Ala Fedorik proved that timing can be everything when it comes to love. Many viewers were drawn to the couple's love story because it featured them reconnecting after divorces. The couple first met online before losing touch and marrying other people. However, they found their way back to each other when their relationships ended. Allah was a bit hesitant before the marriage, but Matt and Allah have since demonstrated that their love is real. The couple has formed a beautiful life together as co-parents of Allah's son. They also welcomed a baby girl to the world. Allah and her son are now U.S. citizens, while Allah and Matt's relationship has only appeared to grow stronger since 90 Day Fiancé. Kenny Niedermeyer and Armando Rubio Kenny Niedermeyer and Armando Rubio are one of the most beloved couples to ever appear in the franchise, as well as the first same-sex male pair featured on the show. Viewers are excited to watch Kenny and Armando plan their wedding on The Other Way Season 3. The couple has overcome considerable challenges to be together. Armando lost his wife prior to meeting Kenny and struggled to come out to his conservative family. However, his love for Kenny helped him to live his truth and he is now excitedly planning his dream wedding on the other way. Kenny and Armando are both an excellent couple and great co-parents to Armando's daughter from his previous marriage. Many viewers consider Kenny and Armando to represent the franchise at its finest. Avery Mills and Omar Albacore Avery Mills and Omar Albacore are one couple who had to prove themselves to audiences. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days viewers initially branded Avery naive when the young American said she had fallen for a man in Syria whom she met over a Muslim dating app. However, Avery and Omar's relationship has demonstrated that real love is worth defying critics and going the distance. Avery and Omar first moved to Dubai while they waited for Omar's U.S. visa approval so that they could be together. They are currently in New Jersey, where Omar is working towards a career in dentistry and Avery is studying healthcare administration.
90 Day Fiancé fans praise Avery and Omar for being hardworking and always being their genuine selves. Their love is apparent to many viewers who continue to follow their romance off-screen. Kyle Huckabee and Bahari Noon Buma. Kyle Huckabee and Bahari Buma, aka Noon, from season 3 are another couple who franchise fans consider to be total sweethearts. Noon moved from Thailand to the United States to be with Kyle, while he picked up extra work shifts to afford their own apartment. Noon supported Kyle through his parental estrangement and helped him reconnect with his mother. Noon and Kyle brought out the best in each other and were praised for their genuine love and support. The low-key couple was easy to root for and they earn extra points for their uncomplicated love story that was relatable and enjoyable to watch. Noon and Kyle remain happily married to the pleasure of viewers, Lauren Goldstone and Alexei Bravarnik. Lauren Goldstone and Alexei Bravarnik are another season 3 couple who has become beloved among franchise fans. While some viewers have called Lauren out for being bratty and sometimes mean to other cast members, it's hard to deny that she and Alexei make a great couple. Alexei and Lauren have always supported each other and also have great families. Alexei's parents were memorably completely supportive when Lauren opened up about having Tourette syndrome. Meanwhile, Lauren and Alexei make for loving parents to adorable baby Shy and their new baby boy, whom they just recently welcomed to the world. Many viewers enjoy keeping up with the sweet family and are consistently rooting for Lauren, Alexei, and their boys. Gwen and Monty Amard. Gwen and Monty Amert are not one of the featured franchise couples but are rather the parents of Jovi Dufrin and in-laws to his wife Yara Zaya. However, this hasn't stopped Gwen from becoming the star of Happily Ever After, season 6 and likely the best franchise mother-in-law of all time. Gwen and Monty remain a united front who enjoy a great life together in Louisiana complete with family and crawfish boils. However, Gwen also protects her daughter in La Yara like she's her own child. Gwen isn't afraid to call out her son Jovi for his bad behavior. She has demonstrated herself to be a strong and outspoken woman who knows when tough love is needed. Meanwhile, Monty has been by Gwen's side for many years, offering love and support. To many viewers, Gwen and Monty are excellent in-laws and a 90-day fiancé relationship worth rooting for.